Well, the one cent sales tax, known as the clean penny, is out of the House and on its way to the Senate. That's the latest from the Louisiana Legislative Special Session, set to end on March 9th. Farmers and ranchers have been keeping a close eye on this tax increase. That's because exemptions, which apply to the other four cents of the state sales tax, would not apply to this one cent sales tax. However, the exclusions for agricultural inputs, feed, seed, fertilizer, and pesticides remain in place. Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation Legislative Specialist Joe May says he and other agricultural leaders have been working closely with Governor John Bell Edwards and legislators to keep support for the state's farmers and ranchers. So far we've been getting that support. That support's been there all along from this governor, from these legislators that are leading, like the author of the one cent sales tax piece of legislation, Katrina Jackson. Uh, we're working to make sure that agriculture is protected in every piece of legislation in this very short very combustive special session. Mape says that while that's good news for agriculture, the battle is far from over. So far, the House has only found funds to fill $700 million of the $900 million budget hole. That means the LSU Ag Center could still face major cuts this fiscal year. LSU Vice President for Agriculture Dr. Bill Richardson says he's counting on you to let your legislator know how important 4-H and your local county agent are to you. Well, I think it's been very helpful. We have a great relationship with Farm Bureau throughout the state. Uh, it is one of the preeminent um, farm organizations in the country and definitely very strong in the state of Louisiana. Uh, we're an agrarian state, so you would expect the chief advocate for agriculture to be very strong in the state. And, and, and we got great support with Mr. Anderson and uh, the, the key farm bureau people throughout the state. We also get great commodity support. The different commodities sponsor us. They, they give us uh, checkoff monies and other things from their, from, they invest their profits back into the research and extension programs. And so we have a great following among them, and we try to be very responsive to their needs. And so they're very concerned about the future research and extension programs that we're doing. And, um, and so I've been I'm very encouraged. Legislators are, are very supportive. I think they're trying to do some things to help us out. Uh, it's easier when you got money <laughs> when you don't have money. And so uh, I still remain optimistic that some good things can happen and going to happen. But I do know that uh, this is a real problem. This is not a funny money made up, let's make politics out of this type of thing. It's a situation that uh, is real and they're going to they're having to make some very difficult decisions and we're trying to be helpful to them and give them the information they need to, to use to help make the decision they need to make. For the remainder of the session, the, 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 the featured, the most prominent piece of legislation, of course, is going to be the one cent sales tax. It's going to address a lot of this year's fiscal uh, deficiencies in the state's budget. Okay, so that's going to be the big ticket item that we're watching until the end, and we want to make sure that agriculture is protected within that piece of legislation. Currently, we are. There's going to be other uh, pieces of legislation that would attempt to generate revenue through taxation, a telecommunications tax, a cigarette tax, a alcohol tax. We don't know what's going to happen there, but we do know that they seem to be finding more revenue attached to the one penny increase than they originally perceived. So maybe when they find that, they're not going to uh, pass. This legislature won't pass as many revenue raising measures, but uh, I don't have a crystal ball, Avery, and I'd hate to predict uh, anything because I'd be wrong. The special legislative session is set to end on March 9th. The regular legislative session begins on March 14th.